Where have teachers been most impactful as mentors in your own life? Um, I can think of a couple examples um, and both um, I, I, I've only recognized in hindsight. Um, I'll give you three actually. Uh, the first is Alec Hazlett who was one of my mentors in ceramics. Um, he taught me how to make beautiful ceramics. Uh, that's nice. Um, the mentorship came in uh, the way that he approaches life and the world around him. Um, he's, uh, he's, he spent years studying how to play the sitar. Um, he lived in India. Uh, he cooks his own Indian food. Um, he reads a great deal of Buddhism. Um, and generally, his approach to the world around him uh, is pretty cool. Uh, and and, and well, I, I can absolutely uh, in no way claim the level of sort of tranquility that I think he's achieved. Uh, uh, I could try. Uh, and so, um, you know, when I'm working 20 hour days, uh, there is this little voice inside of me, at, uh, which I think is him. Uh, and, and usually um, in a, uh, a fairly comical pseudo Indian accent because he's a white guy, but he I think he's earned permission to use that that pseudo Indian accent live in there for 20 years or something like that. He says, uh, shut out, man, you know, like what? <laughs> uh, so that's that's one example of a mentor. Um, another has been uh, Richard Buchanan, who um, founded uh, the program at the School of Design at Carnegie Mellon that I studied under. Um, and has subsequently, he's moved to Case Western Reserve, um, where he's founding another program. But, um, and and it, uh, for me, the mentorship is less in the approach to teaching that he had and much more in his writings. Um, and it's only in the last six years that I've actually understood, uh, I think, a, a level of depth of those writings, which refer to, to people like John Dewey and to the, the core liberal artists that have shaped a lot of um, uh, our modern day philosophy, culture, uh, and, and learning theory. Um, and so it's, it's a, a great deal of reinterpreting his readings and that's just had a phenomenal impact on me. Um, the third example uh, of a mentor is a fellow named Robert Fee, um, who when, when I uh, first taught at Savannah College of Art and Design, uh, my, you know, it was three weeks before I was going to teach class, and I was freaking out. I've never taught a class before. I don't know what I'm doing. And, and I'm talking to, to Bob on the phone and Bob is this elder guy, 65 years old. Uh, and he said, look, just, just shh. <laughs> Sit still. Okay, fine. I'll sh uh, treat it like a design problem. Uh, and I said, okay, treat it like a design problem. Well, uh, it is kind of a design problem. There's a, there's an audience. There's a context. Um, there's a process that's going to happen. Uh, it's going to unfold in a certain choreographed way. Okay, so I get my big brown paper out. I get a sharpie, and I start to sketch what the the timeline uh, of interactions is going to feel like over the course of that curriculum. Um, and and. That's just been a phenomenal approach for me and I've used it ever since.